everyone, H. Graceful here. Did you just see those lovely ladies? I guess you're wondering what we're up to. Well, it's the month of November and the Beauty Over 40 group, we're all doing something from the Rachel Coffee face charts. Rachel Coffee is an artist and she likes to just draw in makeup using several shades and her own basis. She has a store for other artists or even women who like makeup so that they can create their own looks. So the looks that we're doing today, we must credit her. So Rachel Coffee, thank you so much for the opportunity to recreate one of your looks from off your Rachel Coffee face charts. Uh, Rachel Coffee can be found on Instagram, and uh, I'll leave her Instagram hashtag in my description box, but that's the only way you can find her face charts. A few of them are on uh, Google, but we're using the ones um, that have been provided on Instagram. So let me get this moisturizer <laughs> into my skin and we're going to get started. Thank you so much for watching. So the look that I'm going to be recreating today appears to be pretty simple and straightforward, but it requires a lot of blending. Initially, I wanted to do something a little bit more in depth. However, due to a lot of reasons, my time just didn't allow for that. So I hope that I can recreate this particular look <laughs> as closely as possible to what it looks like on the Rachel Coffee face chart. I'll be showing you uh, which look I selected uh, in a little bit. Today I've decided to use my Il Maquillage Complexion products and I'm going to be using their primer and then I'm going to be using the foundation that is supposed to be for everyday wear and it's called I Woke Up Like This and this is in shade number 175. For this look, you saw me put on a second layer or coat of the foundation. I really wanted to build this look up a little bit. So that is why you saw me put on a second layer of the foundation. For my highlighting concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Pro Girl and this is a full coverage concealer. The shade is Warm Honey. To prime my lids, I'm going to be using the P. Louise Acid Rain Blank Canvas Eyeshadow Base. This base is a professional base and it allows for your shadows to adhere to your skin and complexion much easier and for much longer periods of time.
and it does not take a lot of this. You can see the consistency here. That's probably enough or either too much. And I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it to my lid area. For the look that I selected for today, I'm going to be using the Jam Rock. This palette is by Plain and Makeup by Yolando. It is full of bright, vibrant colors, and rather than switching back and forth between palettes, I believe that I can get away with using this one. Very brightly uh, colored palette. It is uh, Jamaican inspired and you know in the islands they love color. So this is what I'll be using today. So the Jamrock palette that I'm using is the older version. The version that you can buy today is called the Jamrock Refresh. And as I'm putting on these shades, I ran into a little bit of trouble getting my shape right. And so that's where you just saw me kind of like clean off my eye and reapply the shadow base and begin again. This look really challenges your patience. <laughs> it's probably likely not a look that most people will want to recreate but it was fun and something different so i hope that you enjoy my look and enjoy watching me apply these shades and i hope that you enjoy all the other ladies looks as well i want you to make sure that you uh, go over and watch their videos once you've watched mine I will, however, display on the screen which shades I selected in case you do want to follow along. All the shades in both the original Jamrock palette and the Refresh palette are exactly the same. The only difference is that my palette, the pans are round and in the Refresh, the pans are square.
I need a highlighter now, so I'm gonna select the shade from the That Time of Year palette from Gorman Girls. And I'm selecting the white shade in the dead center of this palette. So after I apply this lipstick, this will bring this video to its end. I hope that you have enjoyed learning a little bit about Rachel Face Charts and just seeing what a challenge it was. I wanted to throw in the towel, but I'm glad that I did not because it just builds character. Thank you again so very much for watching my video. And don't forget to go and visit all the other ladies to see what they created.